Today's topic is self-motivation. Now you're in business for yourself. The good news is you're your own boss. The bad news is you're your own boss. Nobody's telling you to pick up that phone and make those sales calls. Nobody's telling you what to do and how to do it. You have to be self-motivated. So why is self-motivation so important? Because it, it helps you turn your dreams into reality. It helps you have a lot of fun in your business and have a grateful and gratitude day every single day. Now, how do I stay self-motivated and what would I recommend for you? Well, start with a vision statement. A vision statement is your ideal life five years from now. If you had all the time, all the money and the health to enjoy it, what would be your ideal life? Where would you live? What would you do? Who would you be with? And just to have fun with it and write your, your ideal life in a vision statement and read that morning and night to stay motivated. The next thing I recommend is creating a vision board. A vision board is a board and it could be a hard board. Uh, and my dog Gus is with me here. <laughs> Gussie, my dog. He's a, okay, so he's part of my vision, right Gus? So a vision board is a hard board or it could be on Pinterest. It could be a cork board that you move pictures around, but something that's going to where you can put your pictures and things that are going to motivate you in the following areas, financial, relationships, spiritual, health, career and business and hobbies, those areas. You can have one vision board that represents all of them, or you could have a vision board for each one. I like having one that, that shows all of them. And I'll just point out a couple things. First of all, relationships. This is my family and this is why I work every day at my business and love it because it's, for my family that was my sole purpose 20 years ago when i got involved in this industry became involved it was for my family and my three daughters so that represents relationships then i have these health areas some of my health goals for this year i have uh, my financial goals i have my stretch goals which basically my career and business and one of the things that is going to be a challenge for me this year i am going to write a book and you're the first ones to hear about the title. It is how to become one of those wealthy network marketing women. And that will be out by next year this time in hard copy. And I also have my fun goals, my hobbies, some of the things I like doing shopping, snowmobiling. I want to get to the snowmobiles, some of the places I want to travel with my family, with my mother. So, and my, some of my teammates that I'm working one-on-one -on -one coaching with. So this is just an example of my vision board and I will have this proudly displayed in my office and I will look at it every morning when I walk into my office and throughout the day to activate my subconscious mind to keep focused on my goals because 80% of a lot of times what you do is a waste of time because you're not focused on the things that you really want to manifest. So I find the vision board really keeps you focused on what you want to accomplish to help you turn those dreams into reality and help you stay self-motivated. Stay self-motivated and we'll talk to you soon.